Okay, good evening everyone. We are back at our stream. So yeah, I've been very busy this uh, past few weeks because I was uh, working on some social media website. So I was designing the layout. So before anything else, uh, I want to create a tutorial on how a uh, on how I fix the uh, DXGI error device hung on Wilson uh, Lords of Mayhem so it has been uh, a week I think after I stopped uh, playing the game because I was like uh, all my progression are halted because of the the crashes so it was really frustrating so uh, before I talk about how the how I did the fix, I will tell you about my specification so you can have a reference on uh, uh, if we have similar systems. So I'm using Tomahawk Max B450 and Ryzen 7 3700X um, Gigabyte 5700 XT overclock edition which is at 2100 uh, frequency and 1.2 volts I think so yeah so I'm running a EVGA uh, Supernova Gold 80 plus certified so yes so what I did was uh, I changed some settings including my systems settings so what I did uh, was the first uh, thing that I did was to upgrade my motherboard BIOS so it was a bit risky because of the um, you know situation in our place we get power cuts and everything though I have a generator but then once the computer uh, dies while I mean turns off while you are um, upgrading your BIOS it's a problem really so anyways I successfully upgraded my BIOS and yeah, it fixed some of the crashes, but then it's still there. I I not only cra I don't crash on Wilson, but also I also crash on Battlefield 5, uh, Overwatch, and some other AAA games that are out in the market, and the popular ones. So it was it was a really frustrating um, thing for my new rig to be crashing on most of these games. So what I did was. Uh, I upgraded my motherboard BIOS and yes the, the crash are still there but the overwatch uh, got fixed so what I did next is that I upgraded and downgraded my video card at the same time I mean video card driver so I got lucky with 12.1.2 uh, so it somehow fixed most of the games but Wilson and Battlefield 5 is still crashing and green screen and black screen so I searched the forums and everyone was complaining so what I did was um, I did the test myself so I downloaded the latest driver which is the 20.2.2 of the AMD adrenaline software so uh, it was stated there that most of the black screens were fixed so yes actually it is true and most of my games are now working fine but Wilson still has that DXGI underscore device hung error so uh, it was really frustrating for a week I was really struggling to play I can't even finish an expedition without crashing or having green screen so what I did was uh, someone said that uh, you have to uh, edit the registry which is the TDR um, delay you should set it to zero so if you if you want to see or if you want to check out how to create that uh, registry file you can search it on the internet which is the TDR delay so yeah I will not uh, <laughs> teach you how to do that here because we're going to focus on what matters most which is the driver of adrenaline so for for those who are using AMD and yeah we all know that AMD drivers is kind of you know unstable right now especially the adrenaline 2020 so 
yeah, we have some fix, but then most of us are complaining that we don't have to do this out of the box because video cards should work out of the box, plug and play. That's it. We don't have to do anything because we paid for it. But then, yeah, that's 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 that that's just the situation right now. So we don't have a choice. Not of na not all of us can afford, uh, you know, the alternative card. But you know. All cards have their own issues so without further ado let's check on what I did so first on the settings so yeah my card is more than enough to run this game at full um, graphics at 75 Hertz because my monitor is just 75 Hertz so what I did was I set the display mode to full screen so right now I'm using borderless window because I'm streaming so you should set it to borderless window uh, I mean full screen yes so I turned off vSync though I think because uh, my monitor doesn't support it anyway so I just turned it off although yeah it somehow uh, makes the game smoother once you activate it so I how, how I wish I have free sync right now so yeah I just limited it to the refresh rate of my monitor which is 75 Hertz so until anti aliasing is set to off so some people told me that SMAA is buggy on some games so especially for region so uh, I mean AMD driver so yes so next uh, this was this is default sharpenings chromatic abrasion these are default so the first uh, fix that I got was this this uh, sorry for that <laughs> I just ate my dinner so yeah this three settings here if you're not really concerned with it just turn it off yeah especially the motion blur and the lens flares so you just have to turn it off if you want so these settings are not really uh, the fix I mean the the most uh, proven fix but I just want to point out the things that I did to fix the game so this is uh, I set everything on medium so yeah so that's just about it on the game itself so nothing uh, here was changed except for the graphic setting so as you can see the game still looks very good Although there are like uh, less shadows and a bit sharper uh, game. So yeah, we're going to check out on the uh, region software. So yeah, here we go. Okay, no, wait for me. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Okay, let me minimize this. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry for this. <laughs> I think I lost the window. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, okay. So yeah, there we go. So for the Radiant software. So once you installed the driver, I mean, what I did was I uninstalled it using the DDU, which is uh, done in safe mode. So once I did that. I deleted the AMD folder on drive C before I installed the driver so the driver is uh, the latest driver which is 20.2.2 .2. and also I installed it without internet connection not that it matters I mean yeah maybe it matters because uh, your Windows update might also create uh, my might, might install a different driver which is the default driver for AMD so anyways back to it so what I did was uh, uh, for most of my game I go to the uh, graphics under settings so I set it to standard so this is what they advised on the internet set it to standard turn off everything so but there is one thing that you might miss so on advance there is the uh, surface format optimization so you have to turn it off too because uh, when I set it to, to just standard I noticed that this was turned on this enabled so I disabled it and the crashes went 
away. So, for the performance, yeah, I tried uh, running the game on manual. Yeah, so my manual settings is most la uh, more, more more or less like this: 1905 by 1000 volts. So that's the market uh, frequency and voltage for the card if not um, uh, overclock so I also set my fans to almost 60% so yeah that's just about it that's just the settings that I did but now I I just run it on automatic so no more crashes so basically I think uh, the driver is fine now um, though I'm <laughs> don't quote me on that I mean I see I still see a lot of people crashing on most of the games so one game that I have been tested yet is the monster hunter which is uh, back then I was um, crashing on it too but then the game uh, crash with an error not a black screen where which were in uh, you have to res hard reset your system so for Walsen, it was really a nightmare. Uh, two weeks ago, I was crashing during stream after 10 minutes or even 30 minutes in game. So it's really random. So yesterday I played almost uh, half day, and the next day, I mean the day after, uh, before that I also played it, and no more crashes after I changed the settings on this one so remember it should be win a uh, full screen yeah so you can test uh, it yourself you can increase the graphics quality if you want but always turn the three these three settings off and also the anti-aliasing if you have a really good monitor you don't need it anyway so yes so yeah back to the stream I'll see you guys on the next one so I will post this on YouTube for you to be able to watch it again if you have the time so yeah I can really recommend Walson so it's not that uh, a job look killer yet I mean that's really far from that I mean it's a pretty decent game with minor bugs yeah major maybe but yeah the game is really good it has potential you should try it so yeah that's it for today's for today guys I'll see you on the next one bye